Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you all the structures visualized in the apical 5, 2 and 3 chamber view. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start. This is a series of videos where I'm going to show you all the structures visualized in different views. In echocardiography, there is four different types of apical views. I already made a video about the apical four chamber view. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the structures visualized in the apical 5, 2 and 3 chamber view. I'm going to leave in the comment section the link if you want to watch the 4 chamber video first. This is the apical 5 chamber view and the structures visualized in this view are very similar to the ones visualized in the apical 4 chamber view. So I highly recommend you to start with that video before continuing with this one. However, let's review some of the same structures we can find in the apical 4 chamber view and then I'm going to show you what new structures we can find here in the apical 5 chamber view. The first big chamber visualized at the top of the screen on your right hand side is the left ventricle. At the left of the left ventricle, that top chamber we can visualize there, it's the right ventricle. Under the left ventricle, that rounded chamber, it's the left atrium. The left ventricular walls visualized in the apical 5 chamber view are the inferior septum in the middle and the lateral wall on the right hand side. At the top, we can also visualize the left ventricular apex. Also, in this view, we can visualize the right ventricular free wall. Like in the apical 4 chamber view, we can also visualize here the tricuspid valve on the left hand side and the mitral valve on the right hand side of this view. The first new structure we can visualize in the apical 5 chamber view is the left ventricular outflow tract. The left ventricular outflow tract is this tiny space approximately up to 1 cm from the aortic valve annulus. One of the most important structures visualized in the apical 5 chamber view is the aortic valve. And to finalize with this view, we can also visualize the aortic root or the sinus of Valsalva and part of the proximal ascending aorta. Now I'm going to show you one by one on a video all the structures visualized in the apical 5 chamber view. First, in this view we have the left ventricle and the walls visualized here are the inferior septum in the middle, the lateral wall on the right hand side and the apex. Next to the left ventricle, we have the right ventricle and we can also visualize here the right ventricular free wall. 
like in the apical four chamber view. In the five chamber view, we can also visualize the mitral valve on the right hand side and the tricuspid valve on the left hand side. Under the left ventricle, we have the left atrium. And the extra structures visualized here compared with the apical four chamber view are the left ventricular outflow tract, the aortic valve, and also we can visualize the aortic root or sinus of Valsalva and part of the proximal ascending aorta. Now let's continue with our next view. I'm going to show you all the structures visualized in the apical two chamber view. As you can see here, this is the apical two chamber view. And I can say this is the most simple view from all the apical views. So let's start with the structures. Like the name of the view, only two chambers are visualized in this view. On the top, we have the left ventricle. Two left ventricular walls can be seen in this view. On the left hand side, we have the inferior wall and on the right hand side, we have the anterior wall. These walls can be divided into segments. From the mitral valve to the apex, we have the basal segments, the middle segments, and the apical segments. In this view, you will be able to visualize a thick structure inside the left ventricle. This structure corresponds to the posteromedial papillary muscle. The only cardiac valve visualized in the apical two chamber view is the mitral valve. Closer to the inferior wall, we can find the posterior mitral valve annulus. And closer to the anterior wall, we can find the anterior mitral valve annulus. Because of the angle, the mitral valve leaflets are a bit mixed in this view. However, on the left hand side, we can mostly see the posterior mitral valve leaflets and on the right hand side, we can mostly see the anterior mitral valve leaflet. And to finalize with the mitral valve, these are the mitral valve scallops visualized in the apical two chamber view. From left to right, we have P3, A2, and P1. The second chamber you can find in this view under the left ventricle is the left atrium. And next to the left atrium on the right hand side, you often are going to be able to see the left atrial appendage. And sometimes you can see the descending aorta, which is a small black circle under the left atrium. Now, once again, let's review one by one all the structures visualized in the apical two chamber view. But this time, let's do it on a video. The top chamber is the left ventricle and the left ventricular walls visualized here are the inferior wall on the left hand side and the anterior wall on the right hand side. Also, we can analyze all the different ventricular segments. And inside the left ventricle, you can find the posteromedial papillary muscle. 
Under the left ventricle, we have the left atrium. And next to the left atrium, you can find the left atrial appendage. The only valve visualized in this view is the mitral valve. We can assess the different mitral valve leaflets, anterior and posterior, and the different mitral valve scallops. From left to right, P3, A2, and P1. And sometimes you can see the descending aorta. And to finalize, this is the apical tree chamber view. And I'm going to show you all the structures visualized here. The apical tree chamber view is very similar to the parasternal long axis view. So let's start with the different structures. Let's start with the left ventricle, which is that big chamber at the top of your screen. The left ventricular walls visualized in this view are the inferolateral or posterior wall on your left hand side and the anterior septum on the middle of the screen. You can also assess the different segments of these left ventricular walls. From the mitral valve to the apex, we have the basal segments, the middle segments, and the apical segments. We can also visualize the right ventricle, localized to the right hand side of the anterior septum. And you also will be able to see the right ventricular free wall. Under the left ventricle, we have the mitral valve. Next to the posterior wall, we have the posterior mitral valve leaflet and also the posterior annulus. And on the right hand side, closer to the anterior septum, we have the anterior mitral valve leaflet and the anterior mitral valve annulus. These are the two mitral valve scallops visualized in the apical tree chamber view, P2 and A2. That rounded black circle under the mitral valve is the left atrium. And like in the apical five chamber view, in this view, we are also able to visualize the left ventricle outflow tract. The aortic valve, it's the valve localized on the right hand side of the mitral valve. In this view, you can also assess the aortic root or sinus of Valsalva and part of the proximal ascending aorta. And next to the left atrium, sometimes you will be able to see the descending aorta, which is that black small circle. Once again, Let's review one by one all the structures visualized in the apical tree chamber view. This time, let's do it on a video. The first big chamber visualized at the top is the left ventricle. This is formed by two walls, the inferolateral or posterior wall on the left and the anterior septum in the middle. These walls are divided in three segments from the mitral valve to the apex. And next to the left ventricle, we have the right ventricle 
and we can also assess the right ventricular free wall. The first valve visualized on your left is the mitral valve. In this view, we can identify the different mitral valve leaflets and we can also identify the different mitral valve scallops. Under the mitral valve, the next chamber we can see here is the left atrium. Like in the five chamber view, we can also see here the left ventricular outflow tract. And on the right hand side of the mitral valve, we can see the aortic valve. Also, you can assess the aortic root and the proximal ascending aorta. And sometimes next to the left atrium, you are able to see the descending aorta. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please to subscribe to my channel. See you on another day. Bye.